Hello everyone, my name is Ravana and I'm really happy to be here with you. We are on another day of the 14 day raw vegan challenge. If you are not joining us, I recommend that you do. And you can find out more about the challenge on my website, ravana.com, where you can register to receive your shopping list and your daily meal plan directly to your email. <laughs> I am happy and excited to be here again with all of you. And this video especially is a very common question that I get which is what I eat in a day and this is what I eat in a day I follow the low-fat 80 10 10 raw vegan diet and I will leave a link below of the video where I explain more about this diet and the book where you can find more information of it as well it's a diet that consists of 80% of your calories coming from fruit which is a simple carbohydrate 10% from protein, which comes from fruits and vegetables because all fruits and vegetables contain grams of protein. And 10% of the calories come from fat, which is avocado, coconut, nuts, and seeds. First thing in the morning, as soon as I wake up, is water. Water is super important. It's very important to hydrate in the morning. You're gonna function better, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna wake up, actually. It's gonna help you wake up because at night we sweat and we're not drinking water so we're mostly dehydrated so it's very important to drink water and I drink from 32 ounces which is a liter to a liter and a half depending on how thirsty I'm feeling after that I really like to keep my mornings light and fresh so I'll drink a juice or a smoothie and right now I'm loving this uh, juice that I have uh, I have a video on it and I'll leave the link below. It's juice for constipation and it's so refreshing. It's basically just citrus fruits, grapefruit, oranges, and mmm, I love it. Acid fruit in the morning is has to be my favorite probably. If I don't drink a juice, I will drink coconut water if I have and I'll just drink as much coconut. It's one of my favorites as well. Okay, so after that I like to exercise or something and after exercising I like to eat a large meal of fruit <laughs> and right now I'm loving this fruit I'm gonna show you I have a big plate of apples pears bananas grapes pomegranate and sometimes it's fruit that I'm craving like specifically and other times it's just whatever I have around. I like I like to mix it. And there are some days where I really like to keep it simple and I'll do like a mono meal of just one fruit that is really, really good. But right now it's so hard for me to decide in between like apples, pears, and bananas. So I just usually eat it all at the same time. One thing is that it's very important to eat greens at lunchtime too. So I love romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce is just like, oh, it's my favorite. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so good. And one thing that I like to do is that I take the romaine leaves and I'll do like a little like taco, <laughs> like fruit taco. So I'll put some bananas, apples, and pears, or whatever I have. And then I'll add some date sauce mm. <laughs> on top. And it's basically just dates blended with water and then I just bite into it like this mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if you're not used to eating greens this is a great way for you to start eating more it's very important that you eat greens because they have the essential minerals that you need throughout your day. So that's an option of what you can do. If I don't do this, I'll do a smoothie and I'll usually include like bananas or some kind of sweet fruit because it's more dense in calories. And talking about calories, my calories really vary every day. If I'm not active, I'll be eating around 1500 calories. If I'm super active, I'll be eating like more than 2000 calories. So every day is different. And it's just really important to listen to your body and really know, okay, how hungry you are and just go with that. You don't have to eat a certain amount of number of calories. Just eat as you go, as you feel. <laughs> okay, finally for dinner, 
and dinner is oh, it's my favorite because the whole day I've been eating sweet fruit and now I'm craving something salty so I'll usually make I'll start with some type of acid fruit and right now um, mandarins and tangerines are in season so um, I'm eating that and I usually eat them before or I put them in my salad it's it varies I also like to put um, apple and pear in my salad a lot and usually I'll just make a salad out of whatever I have but it always includes tomatoes this is the size of the salad that I usually make Tomatoes always. I usually have tomatoes here. Cucumber, celery, right now I'm loving jicama, carrot, beet, really just anything. Cilantro, um, green onion to really like spice it up. And sometimes I'll make a simple dressing, just avocado and lime, and that's it. But right now I'm really loving this um, dressing that I have. I have a video for it and I'll leave the link below for that too. I made it as like a hummus veggie dip, but you can also use it as a dressing. And it's super savory, it's kind of spicy, it's really, really good. And I just add it onto that and I devour. <laughs> I eat it all. So this is what I eat in a day. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And yeah, so I'll make another video, I have another video of talking about how many calories and talking a little bit more on calories because I know that a lot of you have that question and I want to answer it. I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to receive notifications of my new emails, of my new videos and subscribe also to Ravana.com. I send you all really just love and light Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Pinterest, where I'm inspiring you every day to eat more raw fruits and vegetables, to eat more raw meals, and so that you can feel better about yourself. Thank you all, and see you later. Bye!